Hey everybody, welcome back to HS Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, so, quick haul video, and this is actually a bi weekly haul um, because I bought so little last week that uh, I didn't bother shooting a haul video. I didn't want to just show you two things, and I think right now I've only got four uh, or five, rather. Um, no, six, but <laughs> anyway, we'll get right to it. So, uh, first things I got in the mail this week, um, picked these up off of Amazon and uh, to add to my Christine collection, but there are more uh, Christine, I guess this is 164th scale, uh, about, you know, two, three inches long, uh, but burnt Christine, and I hope you can see that okay, but she's just uh, very gray, uh, very gray all over. A uh, little bit rough brush look uh, to it. So, yeah, Christine Burn Up. And the other one was uh, Christine Partially Restored. So, about the point in the movie where Arnie's working on her and uh, Darnell and them are, you know, making fun of how she has a, a busted windshield, which she does here. I don't know if you can see that or not i'm sorry for the glare off that package but uh she does have a cracked windshield uh so that yeah that part of the movie where you know busted windshield brand new windshield wipers fenders that aren't painted but a hood that is um missing the hubcap so yeah i thought that that was uh, uh just a couple uh, uh fun items to have and goes yeah, over here is kind of my Christine area. I got uh, three different little ones hanging on the wall. I got my big 18th scale one uh, over there. So, yeah, that's it. Really, for uh, toys for the week, um, I don't think I picked up a NECA. I cannot remember. I, I might have shown my NECA Predator. I think I already did in another video. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been a long week and it's been a long couple weeks uh, but picked up a couple of uh, uh, movies yesterday so I dropped in the Best Buy and picked up uh, this Steelbook of Saw in 4K so you know, there's uh, there's the puppet Billy looking at you through a TV screen and that is the uh, slip cover and uh, on the back is uh, Carrie Elways uh, trying to crawl out of the room uh, with with Jigsaw standing there in the background with his cloak. Um, this has got to be my you know favorite of the series, just the first one. I uh, have not got to see uh, Spiral yet, but heard pretty decent things, so I'll check it out. And then uh, I think Phil from Phil's Creepy Vids might have been the first person to tell me about this one. And Dave from David's Horror picked one up reminding me that it was out. So I went to Target yesterday and I got this uh, Total Recall slash Terminator 2 Schwarzenegger double feature. Uh, already own T2 and Total Recall. Good God knows how many times over for both. Probably five or six for each. Um, but hey, you throw them in a new steel book and put a lenticular cover on it. I'm a sucker. Uh, so you get that T2 art there on one side, pretty cool looking, and the Total Recall art on the other side. Uh, and behind the discs, um, you can kind of see, you know, there he is sitting on the motorcycle behind the disc. And behind Total Recall, you can just tell that's uh, uh, him sitting in the chair, getting his memory erased. So. Yep. Love me some Arnold. And uh, um, let's see, it says here that part two is unrated special edition. I'm assuming that's just the regular standard or the regular extended edition we're all used to. And then uh, definitely the best thing of the week. Um, uh, I got this in the mail from uh, Danny over at the Trash Dash. I commissioned a uh, drawing off of him. After having seen uh, the drawing that he made for uh, 
uh, mark of horror. And I'm actually going to get this out of the frame because I don't want it uh, glaring for you. <coughs> but I asked him, he, he made a Peter Cushing for mark of horror. And I asked him if he would make a Dr. Loomis for me. So taking a little bit of inspiration from, I believe it was the Good Times VHS that had the pumpkin with the light coming out of the eyes on the cover. And of course, Dr. Loomis telling Michael that it's time, striking the lighter. Uh, that's just a great shot. I think it looks really good. Uh, Danny, you're extremely talented. Um, love this thank you for sending it and uh glad that i finally got here <laughs> so he sent it like first class mail should have been here in like five days i think it took 17 uh when it came it came folded in half which had me freaked out when i got the text message that was delivered in the mailbox not the garage and i thought oh man they, they screwed it up but it was just a kind of a curve fold it didn't fold it, just looped it over. Um, and, and Danny threw in a piece of cardboard to uh, you know strengthen the package and beef it up. And I love it. He drew this on there too. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if this was for me or just one that he had laying around. It's definitely a favorite of mine, so I, I assume it was for me. But uh, <clears throat> uh, Emil, is that his name? Emil from RoboCop after he got into the toxic waste and is melting down. Don't touch me, man. Um, that's just awesome. That looks great. Got his fingers kind of melting away. Love it. So thank you, Danny, for that. Um, you do great work. He, uh, uh, get a hold of Danny. Um, I'll have an uh, Instagram link below for him. Uh, I always forget uh, uh, Driller Chiller, Dr. Chiller. Um, <laughs> I follow so many people I can't remember. Um, but, but at any rate, that'll be below. You can reach out to Danny or check out his channel, The Trash Stash, uh, and commission a piece of work from him. I know that, da uh, David from David's Horror did, um, uh, just a talented artist and a great guy, uh, uh, giving me updates as he was doing the picture. I, I asked him, make it a surprise, uh, but he'll show you the project progress along the way if you want, so... That's it for the haul. That's it for the week. Uh, everybody stay safe. Take care of each other. Uh, we'll see you on the stream next week, I hope. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks.